it's Vince and I'm here with another Hungry Root unboxing. Each week I've been trying out some of the new products from Hungry Root that they rolled out for the new year. By the way, if you want to try Hungry Root, you can actually get $25 off your first two orders by entering Vince at checkout. That's a total savings of $50 off, so why not give it a try? Alright, so this week I got ingredients to make the artichoke quinoa salmon bowl, the cheesy broccoli sprouted flatbread, the chicken sausage pesto cauliflower, the cold smoked salmon greens flatbread, and the creamy greens flatbread. I haven't really tried out the flatbreads that much yet, so I wanted to make sure that I gave those a fair shot. And I also got a new item, the probiotic sriracha hot sauce, which I'm very excited to try. I will be giving it a full review. Ice packs on top, as always. I have my three flatbreads to make three different dishes, and each of these contains three flatbreads. So I actually have nine flatbreads for this week. So the great part about this is that they're vacuum sealed, so you can actually throw this in the freezer, and then when you're ready to use it, just pop it out and let it defrost. You can even make mini pizzas out of these, which I have done before. Just add a little bit of pizza sauce, some cheese, some toppings, and bake it in hot oven. This makes a really good personal size pizza. I've got broccoli rice and shaved Brussels sprouts for the flatbread dishes. To be honest, I probably won't make those dishes according to the recipes. I'm going to use the ingredients in a different way. I usually always do. But um, when I do make the recipes, they always turn out great. It's just, I like to remix things. The broccoli rice, I was thinking about making like a with the cheese sauce. Let's see if I can make that happen. The Brussels sprouts are great roasted in the oven with a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. I've also got the cauliflower rice and the super salad blend. Here's my artichoke quinoa. It broke from the thing, but it's all good. Got the artichoke topping and the pre-cooked quinoa. I love these because they're just grab and go when you need a lunch very quickly. So this week I have the sweet Italian chicken sausage. If you watched last week's unboxing, you'll see that I got the garlic spinach chicken sausage. What I like about this sausage is that it doesn't have a casing on it. It's just chicken formed into the shape of a sausage. This one is the sweet Italian flavor, which has the red pepper and the onion flavor in it. It's very tasty. Now, one thing I thought was weird is that when I got this, when I got this package for the first time last week, I was like, oh, did I already eat one of those? Wouldn't, when you look at this, doesn't it look like there's one missing? Like, when you buy sausage, doesn't it normally come with four? I mean, this just seems a little weird to me. But maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe, maybe three is the magic number. I don't know. I got two varieties of smoked salmon this week. One of them is the hot roasted salmon and one is the cold smoked sliced salmon. This is great to flake into omelets and on salads as a side dish. Uh, it is... I'm going to do a taste test for you and tell you the difference between each of these. Cashew cheddar, kale pesto, garlic parm. I've actually never tried this yet. This is the newer sauce that is made with almond butter, and it's supposed to taste like garlic parm. This is the superfood almond butter. Uh, I love that it comes in a squeezy tube because you can just put it where you need it. It's called superfood almond butter, so it's giving you a boost of superfoods as you consume your almond butter. Black bean brownie batter, I've had that plenty of times. I know that that is delicious. And a new offering, the spicy refried red beans. 
which contains red beans, water, onion, tomatillo, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, jalapeno, sea salt, and garlic. So this would be very tasty on some nachos or something like that. In fact, I have a video where I take Hungry Root ingredients and make vegan nachos for the Super Bowl out of them. You can check out that video right here. And in that video, I use store-bought refried beans. So now I could actually make that with these Hungry Root ones. And last but not least, I've got my probiotic sriracha hot sauce. This is a combination of kimchi and sriracha. So it's it's got a spicy, smoky flavor, as well as that kick, that gnarly, funky kimchi acid note. I'll definitely be putting this on eggs. I will be putting this maybe on the side of my rice dish or something like that. This is this is totally something that I would pick out in the store as well. So that's everything I got in my box for this week and I definitely want to be making some videos reviewing these new products for you guys. If you're interested in that, give this video a thumbs up and thank you again for stopping by my channel. I talk all things Hunger Root on this channel. Also, if you are new to Hunger Root, if this is something that you would like to try, if you would like these delicious, flavorful, wholesome foods delivered to your door, then use coupon code VINCE at checkout for $25 off your first two orders, giving you a total savings of $50 off. Why not give it a try? You can skip your weeks, you can customize what comes in your box, and of course, you can cancel anytime. So give it a try, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.